Our Florida's coral reef has seen dramatic declines to the point that our reefs are on the premises of disappearing. If you live in Nebraska, the middle of the country, how is coral reefs important to you? And we get that question all the time. Coral reefs are the breeding ground of a variety of species that live in the ocean. If we don't protect the ocean, we won't have a world where we can breathe healthy air. There's a lot of bad news when we talk about coral reefs, but there's also a lot of hope. Innovations and new tools and new ideas shine some light on the potential for us to restore these delicate reef systems. We were really the first people to be able to predictably spawn corals in a biosecure facility, and we can do it in a way where they can be planted back out onto the reefs again. So how do we make restoration and outplanting really efficient? Force Blue retrains and then redeploys former special operations veterans, all military trained combat divers, to work alongside environmentalists and marine scientists on ocean conservation missions. It's a challenge for many veterans to go from that really defined sense of mission and then trying to figure out who you are and what you're supposed to do as a civilian. I fell apart after the Iraq war. That darkness, that shadow, it started tearing me apart. The waters of life from Force Blue completely healed that. The bulk of their underwater work had been in the dark, in kind of murky areas. They never looked around, and now they're getting back in the water, amazed at the biodiversity and how therapeutic it is to have a different mission. Innovation happens when challenges present themselves. Big solutions require collaborative conservation. Everybody is coming together for 100 Yards of Hope. By connecting this coral reef project to Super Bowl, we hope it will bring much wider attention to the plight of coral and to our oceans. 70% of people pay attention to sports, sports news, sports headlines. Only 15% of people pay attention to science. We're at the restoration site, so we've arranged the plot to look like a football field. So each buddy group is actually going to take one of the yard lines to build the perimeter of the field. Most of the things that I've done have been more on the demolition side. So this is pretty neat in the restoration side. People that have experienced trauma and pain want to protect things that cannot protect themselves. We have to heal others or other things to heal ourselves. While our time is dwindling, the fight's not over. Right now we have the world's attention. All eyes are on Florida. This really is ground zero. If there's anywhere to fight for their future, it's here.